Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing Near Automata, and man, I wish I was half as clever to be able to make that joke. So yeah, so 90% uh, done with Gamma. Uh, barely <laughs> sure we're going to finish complete. the story. Like Amy, like it's going to be like one last boss, and then and then the ending. But hey. It's the Gamma story. Honestly, like, I feel it's the most interesting story of the lot. And I feel like this is on, uh... Oh, wow. So it's the same text as last time. Uh, yeah, like, it, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Uh, I feel that it might be on the strength of, like, being the most detached story. That was Hot Shelter. Uh, entry permitted. Isn't this where, like... Uh, Betta's bot- no, this is where we play the hammer game. We ain't interested in that. Can I go in the other door? Where do I go? Like, I'm permitted to entry here. Uh, where's T-Cal? I need some of her, her help. I don't know where she is. No, like, that's something else. That's the cow garden. Chow garden. Where do you go? Do you have any hints for me? Okay, well, I mean... Maybe we need to go on the deck? I'm not sure. Let's go there. Huh, I thought it was just like on that other door and then everything was good, but um, I'm clearly not in a state of understandment. Like, Beta was like, well, he was being... Oh, Zeta yeah. Complete. We did it. Units remaining. Wave. Ooh, high-pitched sound. Remembered when I shot a whole bunch of robots and there was confusing Gamma. effects everywhere. Oh. Um... That got dark. In a way, I didn't. Hey, well, there's that guy. He's got the lobster hands. Uh, all right, if we're gonna have a showdown, it's gonna be outside, underneath the blue sky. Here we go. Oh man, it's just like the cool music just gets started. It's like, all right, well, we gotta return to the normal song that we hear all the time. There we go, driving by. Gonna beat my brother. 101. He's got one eye. I got two. Mark two. Oh, so you know they're serious. All right, at least one ring. All right, so I clearly don't remember much. Oh, wow, you go fast. All right. Oh, so it's your song? Whoa. Yeah, I shot you in the bag. There we go. That's how warfare go. I wish the, oh, I see. Like you just dodge all my stuff very well. Oh, we still got a timer. We always gotta have that active timer. Oh, missiles after me! Yeah, I I needed to turn around to shoot it, but that was just not happening. All right, and then he does that, and then I miss because my laser didn't target him. I don't know why. Sure, it had its reasons. Dang it! Dude, dude, dang it! <laughs> um, like what are the? I guess that's just what what? Oh. Well, uh, don't confuse me like this! Oh, jeez, that's an explosion. Like, that's not a small one. Okay, now he's gonna charge at me. There we go, shoot him in the back. Like, this is dangerous. Like, is this- Whoa. If he gets his missiles out, and I'm not, like, in a good way to shoot them, it gets pretty rough. Alright, so you're gonna throw, like, a giant explosion. Or several. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is pretty neat. Oh, that's gonna be a big one. Yeah, because he was charging it longer. Oh, that is so rad, though. That was pretty cool. Okay, yeah. Swat, swat, bat and swat. There we go. Batman drop. Uh-huh. Yeah, and there we go. But ultimately, I'm the one that wins. I'm gonna try and get rings as long as I can. But they're being very slippery, dodging all around me. As my brother explodes violently, just lightning and fire. Complete. Yeah, look at that ring! <laughs> that looks silly. Oh, wow. That was a cool fight, but... Because there's health all over the arena, I was okay. I just kind of lived on through. I feel like I didn't really deserve this W, but I'll take it. Lines appeared for, like, a frame. 
I mean, you had so much cool. Whoa! <laughs> Sweet flash animation there. <laughs> oh, it was was a trap. He woke up level three, supered me. That's so rude. But it took the last ounce of his energy. And the bird flew away! Yeah, I gotta look away. It's the explosion. Oh, but your arm is limping. You're not doing great, Gamma. I mean... He was ready for this. is pretty good at hovering, considering it like it's like a general bird. It's not like a hummingbird. It's like sad, but at the same time, it's it's like really nice. Sega will make you cry for a robot. <laughs> Years before Pixar did it. Whoa, the air turbulence make me move around like a puppet. Yeah, look at that! It was a pink bird inside Gamma all this time. And that's how it ends. Like, isn't that kind of nuts? I guess pretty soon, uh, Amy is gonna come over to the egg carrier, then she's gonna have her ending, and all the birds are gonna be together for the first time. And we're just gonna have two different <laughs> Shots of the robot and a dummy because robot didn't do a lot of levels. Well, like Amy, like honestly, this is very similar to Amy's experience. Like a lot of his levels are just kind of go through a tiny part of existing levels. However, they're really fun. They're very hectic. And then you get Hot Shelter, which is like has this entire extended sections just for him with the powertrain, and it looks super rad. Your robots, you know, they're trying their best. They may look the same, but their paint job is different. I I still basically am repeating what I said at the start of the video. This is overall the best story, and I do believe that this is due to the strength of the fact that it's basically removed from everyone else. Like, there's bar barely any interaction with the other characters. And, uh... I feel like that's a strength. Like, it's weird to think about, but you know, like trying to match all the stories together and all, it's a fun idea. Uh, it's a fun thing to try in theory. It's a fun mental exercise. But ultimately, uh, yeah, no, like, it's kind of too bad. I feel like I didn't end the main game with this guy's story, because I feel it would have been a really solid beat to end with. Uh, compared with what we're actually gonna end with, which I'm not going to go into details for now, in case you're one of the two people watching this who don't know anything about it. Uh, but yeah, Gamma. Powerful story. I don't know if it says anything, but at least for the sake of entertainment. Like, it's, it's, it's interesting. And, you know just ends just at the right moment. Like, it doesn't belabor the point they just, they just end it. And, uh, I love the fact that they, uh, were confident enough in their ending to just leave it at that. Maybe they were confident because it is one story out of six, and they figured it didn't matter too much, but I don't care. Uh, I'm glad they did. Look at that, this is just like Gamma's little, like, uh, vacation photos he took while on the job. <laughs> You had a little camera droid falling around, you know, filming and taking pictures. 
uh, as souvenirs. Unfortunately, they were blasted by the final explosion. Hit! So, uh, unfortunately, they can't use the footage, you know, to verify the story of the five other idiots that are also telling the story. Yeah, like, I, I, so, like, I realize that the mountain exploding again and finding the windy key again. Like, I understand that this happens for gameplay reasons, and I understand that it's there to guide you towards the next locations. Like, I get that. Like, I understand the mechanical reason why they did all that. This is kind of funky because it just kind of makes the story impossible in the overall fiction. But, I mean, like, that doesn't, like, I understand, like, I understand that, that it's a gameplay conceit. This does not need to be explained. But I'm still allowed to question things in terms of story. Like, like, considering the amount of effort they put into telling story in this game, I think it's okay to ask questions about, you know, things that are uniquely related to the story. Like, what was the gameplay ratio to cutscene in the Gamma story? Like, anyone can do, like, quick math? kind of sort of like a quick sort of like uh, feel feel of it because uh, I watched a lot more than I played with Gamma. It's fine because the game the gameplay parts were fun but I, I feel like they made it easy because it's so different from the rest and they only had like three levels to ramp up which doesn't really work. Oh my god it's a polygon bird! It has textures on it. Uh, it has dents that imitate toes, but not actually separate toes. Eating asparagus has never been more challenging. Next time, the sequel to Duke Nukem that no one ever wanted.